What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another episode of our Rome 2 uh, Rise of Republic co-op campaign with myself, Pope John Paul and Scrim. Hello. And uh, yes, it is a bit of a delay since we've done another one. As usual, cannot seem to be able to grab each other at the right time. Um, but we, yeah. are, we are here with another episode anyway. Yeah, I've pretty much come to the conclusion that we'll get it done when we can because work, college... Uh... Basically, yeah, that's 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 enough going on yeah. as it is outside of YouTube. Yeah. Do apologise, but we are here anyway, and I will we'll get straight into the episode, and I'll end my turn and hand over to Scrim because where we left off, I did destroy uh, a few. Well, the Volsky resistance in my territory and retook all my settlements. So now it's uh, time to rebuild and hunt down these final armies. Indeed. Meanwhile, we're about to go straight into a siege battle, but quickly I'm going to build some stuff because I can. Now, do I want some docks which provide me some extra maritime? Or do I want some extra wealth in agriculture? Because again, we can upgrade agriculture. Mm. Or, oh, should I get this? Nah, we won't get that. Yeah, so let's let's go for some harbours. No, oh, yeah, let's get a harbour going. And yeah, let's have a siege bell. Straight into a siege bell. Excellent. Indeed. Um. Ooh, I didn't realise there was another army there. Let's go into a night battle. Oh no, I I really do have to fight. Oh, one's a garrison, of course. Ha. Huh. So I got some light siege towers and I got some ladders. I could just carry on sieging them, to be fair. Mm -hmm. I'm actually really tempted to do that. I like I'm just getting a description of what's going on. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can, I can definitely see what you're on about. <laughs> Oh, yeah, here we go. Straight. There we go. That's a... we're, go we're going for it. You're going for it. Oh, secessionists, of course. Um, okay. Yes, indeed. Oh, you've got a lot of a lot of stuff. Am I defending? Yes. Why have I got a giant blister in the inside? <laughs> yeah. Good luck trying to use that. Yeah. Just destroy my own walls, I guess. And we're on the battlefield, and I am getting ready to defend against this this invader. I mean, he is the true invader. I am just trying to fight for independence. Do you know what's really bad? What? I, I was watching a Facebook video while we were loading in, and yeah. there was a bunch of Santas in boot camp, and I, he did caught me off guard. Oh. Fair enough. Well. <laughs> just to let you know just that like, really yeah. the knowledge. I feel like any, that was that's really benefited now my uh, my knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> and just like my my general life indeed it has <laughs> okay um well i found a perfect spot for my uh my artillery actually that's it it's up here an even better spot <laughs> possibly you know what quite possibly depends on where you start it's kind of where I'm, mm, why i'm waiting for you to just f Deploy, and then I'll uh, react. I'm going to attempt. I'm going to attempt something. It will go I'm going to attempt that. something. I might really bother you. Okay. Well, we'll see. <laughs> oh, you you started it. Is that the time? Are you happy? Are you happy where you're starting? Uh, no. <laughs> you idiot! Then. You, uh, give me the benefit of doubt here. The benefit in this. You're a fool. Let me quickly. Yeah, no, I didn't really think about that too much. I, I thought I'd try something I forgot about something, so. And now he's going round here. Yeah. Um, I need to think about this a sec. Uh, why did I do that? I don't believe I did that. Yeah, I did. I... I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed by my decision. Um, so we have you guys here. Okay. Yeah, I'm dead. We're definitely. This is going to be a slow, a slow ass siege because we're both. Neither of us are going to be ready. Uh, no, I don't want you firing at will, please. You idiot. <laughs> idiot? Are you sure? Yeah. Presumably, you know what I've done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, mate. That's fine. Actually, that that works perfect. It was a um a cheeky 
tree. <laughs> a little bit of hubris. Yeah, well, that's fine because that works in my benefit. Does it? Yeah. Are you screaming inside? Uh, no. You are. <laughs> I'm not. I'm actually not too bothered about you doing this because this <laughs> falls into a lovely plan. Does it now? Yes. <clears throat> I can't see your forces. That's the only thing bothering me right now. Yeah, that was your fault. You shouldn't have <laughs> run away. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, if you're on the other side of the city, I've got the advantage of moving up without um, being shot at too much. Which was kind of the entire idea behind this. You'll see. <laughs> What, are you going to tell me you're going to break down your own rules of artillery or something? What? I've... I don't know what you're on about. Oh my I've god, collapsed. you're going to... The thing is, it's fixed artillery, so you should really hope you've positioned it well. Oh, I've positioned it okay. I can certainly get some shots off. Still can't see you. Oh, right, okay, there we are. It's not seeing you now. Can you? Yeah. I'm just waiting on this one to... Oh, it can't turn to this angle. Oh, that actually is a... I thought maybe <laughs> the note was fixed. I th thought you could turn it on a 90 degree. Oh, well. That's fine. I'm just going to force you to come up and uh, get beaten up by it. <laughs> oh, if I put it in my original spot, it would have been fine as well. I was going to put it here. For my viewers, I'm they great. can see where it was going to go. And I was going to put it there. It would have been safe. It would have been sound. Actually, really proud of myself for this. What that you've eluded me. Oh, this. Yeah, a little bit. Well, it's not funny for me. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, I'm not too bothered. I would have done the same. But I also have confidence in my own men that we can just charge through and kill you. The enemy have taken a tower. Oh, right, you're going to go there, are you? There's only one down, so it's getting all my bloody forces in now. Oh, these guys can't form hoplite wall. That's annoying. And my other half of my army is still coming back because of your stupid move. You're actually, welcome. Actually, no, that's not a good spot. Retreat. Oh. My general's under attack. That's my general under attack, actually. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> you bastard! Fuck! Yeah, I'm losing a lot of men from this stupid move I made. You're losing men? Yeah, well, no, a stupid amount of men that I lost from the first thing I did. Can you fucking shift your ass? You fucking. <laughs> I got him. Ugh. Excellent. It all came to you. Fucking they crazy. ran such a long way. I was like, how has he not seen them? I've been concentrating too much on other things. Yes, like eluding me. You coward. Right, now these men can Fine. just... Fine, I can live with this. I'll live with it. Yeah, you're breaking some of my men, but I mean, that's because they ran. Hey? I tried to pull them back. Oh, I broke at 82. Wow. That's that's not good. You did what? One of your units broke at 82. Wow. Yeah, light hoplites don't have much... Um... Yeah, yeah, to be fair, and I'm losing a militia hoplite at 78, but that's because I tried to pull them back. Because I see what you're doing now, like flanking, because I realise I was in a terrible position. <laughs> Very terrible. Yeah, I realised the soon I didn't really have enough troops to actually commit to the entire line. Um, put you there. You go. Okay. Is that all the... Oh, what? that's the cavalry dying. Okay. Um... 
That's fine, actually. You go back over there. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Because you've basically got everything inside the walls safely. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it was the only I'm way. Really upset. I'm really upset. <laughs> oh. it, I'm surprised it worked. It's even quite explosive. Yeah, I was very explosive. My anger there. To be yeah, fair. it's fine. Don't I was worry. Like, oh. I don't you... believe I made that one. Yeah, I realized that your only cover unit was your general. I was like, well, this is gonna be. Interesting and fun. Can my artillery now hit you? That's the question. Yes, it can. I think it can. Oh, come on, turn. Can you see my artillery? <laughs> yeah, it's it was so it. it was so it was in a good it's, position. It's in a really good position as well. Yeah, that's what I mean. And it was and you ruined it. The thing is, I would put it there. I would have done that as well. Yeah. Oh, uh, you... I see what you're doing with your flipping... Uh, archers. Where's my general? <laughs> no, we're just, I just better check where my general is before you try anything. <laughs> Let's just start hitting these kids over here. Oh... I'm really, really bothered by this. Do you, you know that's my faction leader you killed as well? Oh, even better. <sighs> I can could not be more pleased than Scrim. Our men are fleeing? Well, that's just cowardice, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I should actually just send these guys into just like with an attack order because they actually can't. They actually can't do much. Oh, but the thing is, I'm fighting hot plates. I always forget this. Yeah, they're a bit bulky, aren't they? Yeah, you're slingers. You might as well actually just like. Yeah, they're bulky and also just annoying for me to try and break down. I know what I'm doing is cheesy, but it's the most effective way that I'm going to kill enough of your men off. Guys down. Just kill these men, please. Ready and waiting, Commander. Double time. Ready for order. Where did my oh oh they've run a long way away? Um, come on. I see what you're doing. Oh, you caught me in the last minute there. Yeah. Oh, they, how did they all break through? Wow, you broke quite a quickly through that. Right, you go to the... Bearing in mind, I've still got reserve troops here as well. Yeah, I know, I know. I know what you've got, Mot boy. But, okay, can you guys please just get through instead of just getting... Oh, that's infuriating. They have skirmish mode on, which is obviously what you do, but then they just then go and run in the opposite direction. Who in their right mind does you seem... that? <laughs> you seem quite annoyed now. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not annoyed. It's just like. It's just common sense, Scrim. You don't run <laughs> in the. <laughs> I'm trying to save these poor buggers. Oh, they can form. Oh, those light hot plates can form. Like, uh, okay. Oh yeah, they were actually militia. Those are the ones. Well, okay. Keep harassing. <laughs> Perfect. An entire unit has perished. Let's do that. You're really sending your cavalry straight. Oh, the skirmishers. Ha. 
You thought I was foolish. Only slightly. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you managed to get guy. Ah, you cheeky man. How could they get up there? There's like, oh, okay. There's like the ever so slightest hill. There is a little bit. Yeah, like the smallest lip I've ever seen. <coughs> oh, sorry, I do apologize. I'm dying of some illness. Um, yeah, I see what you're doing there. <laughs> These men will die with honor. You denied them their, their kills. You denied what? You denied these men their kills. Brave. How many are there? 28 of them. How did two die? Probably through attrition or something. Oh, okay. And now my general's going to have to get committed. My uh, infantry seems to be climbing the mountain. Which yeah, is I know. I just realized that. Scrim, okay. <clears throat> I'm dying of some illness, <laughs> and you're pointing out the obvious. <laughs> I feel like you're upset by the current situation, Bo. Uh, no, no, to be honest, I'm more than happy with what I've done. I've managed to kill your general. Just and in I'm... time to turn around. Yeah. Yeah, either way, though, they're getting shot in the back. Swift melee cavalry. Yes, yes. Yes, well, they're dead now. Let's kill these men. Can all skirmishes be on skirmish mode for once? <laughs> be on one or the other. Skirmish or no skirmish. Oh, well, I'm very annoyed that, like, this dumb hill has done me in here because that, apparently that's a slope that you can climb now. Though it's not textured in. Which is oh, usually. Oh, it is. It's actually an entire slope. Yeah, the entire slope is apparently climbable. Oh, this whole side was climbable as well. Wow, I didn't even. You sent that. your archers in now, apparently. Yeah, yeah, apparently so. Apparently, Scrim, I have. Um, I don't realise, but apparently they have a no mind of their own, and they just do it. They've got to that stage. At this point, I might as well. I need to keep. <laughs> they're 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 breaking anyway. Are we having? Are we? Having fun here, Bob. I'm having fun, yeah. I'm just, uh... <laughs> I'm not mad. Oh, man. I love how I've got some... I've actually not used six of my units. I've not used any of my... Until now, I've... any of my, um... I still think I've done enough units. damage. My number two group's not been used yet. Yeah, I know. That's annoying that I haven't really got your ranged stuff at all. Let's just kill a few of his slingers off. There goes your cav. Yeah, I was trying to get it to charge through oh, the lines. Yes. Trying to get it to push through and get your slingers, which it kind of has. The most elite one did anyway. Jeez, so many of those cavalry just died. Like, actually, a lot more died in the streets. But I mean, oh, okay, an entire unit perished. I don't know what unit that was. Eh. I've done as Probably well as I cavalry. could. Yeah, I've done as well as I could, I think. I mean, it definitely would have helped that artillery was able to get some kills. My general's breaking, wow. Um, artillery was broken ages ago. Oh, no, no, but I mean, no, was able to use it. Like, oh, was, wow. Like, if I was able to use the artillery, that would have been so much more useful. Wow, you only lost 600. I definitely felt like I killed more. Definitely God. felt like more. What's happened? I was just looking at how many I thought I could have killed more than 600. Uh, faction leader's dead. Ha, <laughs> <sighs> I don't believe I didn't see that. I'm very upset by that. Sucker. You deserve it. I've got my air to take over now. God help me. Is he bad? We'll find out. <sighs> yeah, we will occupy... Yeah. Well, I don't mind because it's not got anything to do with Rome. <laughs> yeah. Yet anyway. 
I don't actually know who my heir is. I'm, I'm taking a guess here. Dynas Disciples of Zeus, Dynasty. I presume this is my heir. I mean, I can't see, so I'm just going to just, just wait to find out. Another day. Other nobles. No, he's not even anybody. Arnevius, whatever that is. Let's get you in there. Right. I'm just waiting on what I can do. When, well, what were you researching again? Oh, yeah, better iron over bronze and going like <laughs> weapon damage and stuff like that. I kind of want Mars the victor as well, 10% morale for all units. Right. My general's now my heir. Right after that goddamn disaster of losing my general. <laughs> You're welcome for that. Mm. I'm very upset by this. <laughs> I have a lot of silver chevron uh, units now, actually. Well, a lot. I say about one, two, three, four. <laughs> that's, a lot, that's a lot in my mind. To oh, be fair. Five, actually. I'm not very good. It was, it was a bit sneaky what I did, mind you, but it did help because I only took like a quarter loss. Yeah, yeah, instead of taking like a frontal assault. Yeah. I guess so, but I got is your that, general, was, so that, I don't. Is that mind. bad of me? It's a little bit, but I, I respect it as a strategist. I respect it. I don't mind it. I'm not going to take too much offense from it. It's At the end of the day, it's some secessionists. If it was against Rome, it would be a bit more miffed, but. It's part of the game. Yeah, I suppose. I, w I won't do it again, though, because I did realise how sneaky that was. <laughs> well, I'll just expect it from now on. I'll just put troops everywhere on every wall. Save you from... Uh, save the embarrassment of being caught out. It's not really that embarrassing. But, you know... The problem. Uh, what are the Volsky doing, man? <laughs> The Volsky attack again. No, no, they're just running like the longest way round my settlements. Edict issued, bread and games, and mercenary commander. Ooh, okay. Um, now I'm depend debating what to do, to be honest. Oh, they're starving. Excellent. Seems like they have no food left anymore. Well, that's usually how starvation happens, Pope, but yes. Um... I could go for meeting place. I think I will go for a meeting place. Get that, get that uh, happiness up. Um, and I, they can't. I don't think they can reach. They can't even. Oh, they can reach the settlement, but only on a force march. And that, yeah, that guy confirms you can't reach on a force march. I have nine troops or nine units in that in there. I have no garrison still. I do in one turn, so I could move this army on. I could march on Antium. I'm gonna go to here. What does that do? That only puts it down to six. Oh, okay, I can take that. I'll move the main army on. Um, so I actually outnumbered the army that's in Antium, but their garrisons all that now denies me from victory, but they're starving, like I said. Um. Diplomacy. I need to see if I can get some trade. I really do. Like, I'm hurting on money. I've got a um, seaside settlement. Uh, do I have a sea settlement? Uh, I have Scissor. A seaside settlement. Yeah. I do, yes. Scissor. But I can't see you yet. And I don't want to trade with you anyway. You smell funny. <laughs> um, Tarkuna. Tarkuna still won't trade with me. I mean, Tarkuna, like, gradually hating me more and more, I think. Oh, no, we're still we're still neutral. Yes, you're down here somewhere, aren't you? Sakelia and Sykinthia. <coughs> oh dear, dying of the plague. Umbria. Oh, I'm pretty sure Umbria liked me a lot, but they can't trade with me. Of course not. Um, the Sabines. They don't mind me. Oh, we could go trade. No, we can't because you hate me. Um. Hernisi, or whatever your name is, Hernisi. Eh. I probably have to break all those agreements eventually because you're very much in the middle of my uh, expansion. Oh dear. 
Uh, well, they're in Latium, and you know, Latium is basically Rome. <laughs> hmm. so, yeah, that's that's a good point. So we've got to take that eventually. Um, I'm probably going down my turn. I think I've got everything will be replenished in one turn. Oh, actually, apart from these mercenaries, but we could actually replace them. I could just replace these guys, but they're very well vet veteraned up, so I'd rather just um, keep them as they are. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to end the turn, um, and this is probably a good point to end the episode. So, guys, if you've enjoyed this new this new part, then uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and go and check out Scrim's channel for his perspective of the campaign. Um, and if and until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you. Guys